Hello, my name is Raphael. I'm from Quebec. It's a 1995 Audi RS2, 146,000 kilometers, six-speed gearbox, all-wheel drive, obviously, quattro. I have a shop, and it's a service maintenance uh, VW Audi shop. About a year ago, I got the car. I bought it from my customer, who already had one. The car is from Japan. I came from Germany, initially. I grew up in Europe. I'm from Belgium, initially. And so I've always wanted to have that car. I don't know, it's got something special to me because it's Porsche related. The junction of the two made me want to have the car one day. And so that's why I got it. Very retro turbo. So it just kicks in past a certain RPM. It's pretty slow in the city. But once you hit the boost, it's just fun. So that's what I like about the car the most. Yeah. Mark is my name. I live here in Burlington, Vermont. I bring it around to shows periodically and people absolutely love it. I've owned this car for about five years now. The car started out its life in Cape Cod. A gentleman named Brian Lang, who is very well known in the uh, Volkswagen world. So what he did was he pinched the nose. He had two and a half years and about 3,000 or 3,500 man hours in this car over two and a half years. Some of the real cool aspects of the car, not only that it's blown, the original motor's blown, but the front fenders were taken off, rotated and turned 180 degrees and that's what the back that's what made the back end of the car. So it's an all-steel body, all high performance, front end, back end motor. The motor's gone through several transitions from a 1600 dual port to an 1830 with four carburetors on it until I got it and turned it into a 2332 blown Volkswagen motor. The motor went out to California to Jason Leffler Industries out there. He's a high performance Volkswagen engine guy. And he collaborated with a man named Dick Landy and his son, who specialized in supercharged and blowing uh, sand rails out in California. So it was a co collaboration on the motor. It took quite a long period of time, about four months. It's got a blower timing management system in it that regulates the blower. Um, it's running a big pulley right now at five and a half pounds of boost, making 290 horsepower. Just got done with an upholstery in it. It had a Richmond upholstery put in it. He does a lot of concourse cars, Pebble Beast cars. It's got a Carson removable top on it. The car was over at Hemmings Motors in Bennington, Vermont. Jay Leno was visiting. He was absolutely in love with the car. He thought it was a wonderful concept that we kept the original motor in it and we uh, it was an all steel body car. I don't know of another one blown on the East Coast with the original motor in it that's all steel body. I'm sure there's another one somewhere, but and that's what makes it very unique that we were able to keep the original platform and, and build off the original platform. So, real cool car. I'm glad you guys took the time to talk to me about it. It's been a lot of fun building it. It's been very expensive, but it's definitely a conversation piece. <laughs>